Hey everyone, it's Abby. Welcome or welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I've created this simple Zoom Ready makeup look. So this is by the way in collaboration with Katkin Cosmetics. I know a lot of us are working or studying at home. So we all know naman that online meetings are there. So if you're like me who always wanted to look presentable nung face to face and kahit na ngayong online setup lang, then this video is the right one for you. Also, to those of you who aren't familiar with the brand yet, Katkin Cosmetics is a skincare grade, vegan, and cruelty free brand that incorporates modern aesthetic design on their products with oriental cultural heritage. So, they sent over products to me, and I am going to show my face right now. And if you want to know my thoughts on these products and how I came up with this look, just keep on watching. prep my skin. Naglagay lang ako ng toner, moisturizer, lip moisturizer, and sunscreen. Yes, sunscreen. Kahit nasa bahay lang, I never skip that part talaga kasi I think it's very essential kahit nasa bahay lang. So yeah, I already did my brows na rin off camera since wala namang brow products here from Katkin. So, I'm gonna start off with the base of my makeup and I'm gonna use this BB Cream Air Cushion. Ayan, the packaging looks like this. See that? So, when you open it, Ito yung air cushion nila and here's the extra refill. No, and meron na rin siyang kasamang refill. So yeah, let's open this. This is the BB Cream Air Cushion. And when you open it, meron na rin siyang kasamang applicator. Ayan. It looks like this. I'm gonna try it now. So, I'm gonna first um, put it sa half ng face ko para makita niya yung difference niya dito sa other side. And so, this is the side of my face with the cushion. And ito naman yung bare lang. Ayan, look at the difference. I can see that it is light coverage lang and it is lightweight as well. So yeah, if you're looking for that no makeup base for your no makeup makeup look, then you'll definitely like this one. I like it. Ayan. Lagi ko lang din sa other side of my face. And so this is what the cushion looks like on my face. I super love that dewy effect. Kita niyo ba? Yan. And it's very lightweight ha, in fairness. Ang ganda ng pagkakalapit niya sa face ko. So, feeling ko hindi ko na kailangan ng concealer pa after this. And I'm just gonna apply na lang dun sa part, dun sa areas na kailangan pa ng coverage. So, yeah. It's here. There cover up niya naman yung mga pimple marks ko. So, yeah. This is nice. Since I have my base already, I'm just gonna top it off with this loose setting powder ng Katkin. And this is what it looks like. And it comes in this powder puff as well. Oh, I think there's a ano, glittery effect when you put it on. I'm going to show you. Ayan. Do you see it? It's... I think there's a shin effect when you put it on the face. I'm not going to use this powder puff, siguro. Instead, I'm going to use a powder brush. So this is uh, one of the collections of Anne Clothes. It's the brush set. Niya. So, yeah. Uh, if you're interested to buy this, I'm gonna link it down below. Gagamit ako ng brush kasi feeling ko kapag gumamit ako ng powder puff, ma-fully mattify niya yung face ko. And uh, yeah, eh, gusto ko ma-retain yung pagka na binigay niya galing dun sa cushion. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna... Yeah. And then, lagay ko lang sa face. 
ですか Tanyo ba? Meron talaga siyang shin effect eh. Meron siyang may glitter dito. I'm loving this as well. It looks very natural. Lalo na in person. Since I look like a plain canvas, I'm just gonna put some color on my face. So I'll be using their eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. Has nine shades having shimmer and matte shades. So, this is the Autumn Moonlight palette. I think for that the transition color, I'm just gonna use the lightest one, this shade. I'm gonna swatch it at the back of my hand. It's very, very you know, skin tone color. Now. So, for that, I'll be using this big blending brush by Anne Klutz then. So, kasama rin to sa collection. What I like about this is that soft lang yung bristles niya. And, for perfect siya for beginners since meron siya ditong team. Ayan, big blending brush. Tapos yung kanina may powder brush. Ayan. For transition color. This one. Just gonna put it all over my lips. So, tip pala. Pag nag-eyeshadow kayo, um, make sure na yung eyes niya nakatingin sa baba para nakikita niyo yung color na nilalagay niyo. Kasi kapag nakaganto ka, parang hindi na stretch yung eyes mo. So, yeah, for me lang naman. Punta ko maglagay. So for the crease naman, I'm gonna use this shade. Ah, uh, it's here. Then yung ba? Yeah, it's the shade. Using the same brush as well. create the outer V, I'm gonna use this shade, the darker one, it's this, ooh, it's not matte pala, or siyang buttery yung ano niya, texture niya. So, I'll be using this small eyeshadow brush to create the outer V. Also, tip pala everyone, if you're doing your eyeshadow, make sure na sa tip kayo humahawak ng brush para control nyo yung galaw. Kasi kapag dito, kapag ganyan kayo humahawak ng brush, ang tendency niya mapadiin tapos super kumapal yung color. So, diba? Para mabilis mo siyang na-blend, dito ka humahawak. Kasi for me, mas madali na magdagdag kesa magtanggal ng eyeshadow. Alam niyo yun. Kasi kapag nilagay mo na dyan, color red. Like, ang hirap niyo nang i-blend totally. Kaya pa unti-unti lang yun. Then, saka mo siya i-blend. So, lalagyan ko lang din ang eyeshadow, yung ilalim ng eyes ko. So, I'll be mixing these two shades. This one and this one. Using this small angled brush. Just below the waterline. 
Para magkaroon lang din siya ng color. And what I usually do is that pag malapit na ako dito sa dulo, kagawin ko, ilagyan ko siya na parang wind. Kaya angle brush yung ginagamit ko. Para diretso na siya going there. I guess we're done with the eyes. So, hindi na kasi ako magmamascara since I have my lash extensions na. So, I had this done at New Lounge, of course. Yan, Lash Doll Forever. So, yeah. If kayo naman, pwede kayong maglagay ng mascara after sa taas. Para lang din magkaroon ng... Para lang din mabuhay yung eyes nyo. Yeah. I guess we're done with the eyes. So, I'm gonna proceed with the cheeks. Using this uh, blush on and highlighter of Catkin Cosmetics. So I like the fact na it comes in two in one. So mayro na siyang blush on and highlighter as well. Kung makita nyo, nagguglow talaga siya. Ang ganda nito. Hi tao sa inyo. Tanyo ba yung glow? So pretty. And I'll be using this blush brush of Anne Clothes. Ooh! Lalagay ko lang siya dun sa higher points of my face. So, itong part na to. Then, glide ko lang siya pa baba. <laughs> so pigmented. <laughs> Shocked ako sa pigment niya. Super makapit siya sa face. Naikot ko yung brush. Kasi feeling ko kapag ito yung pinambablend ko, mas nakapal siya. So, yeah. I like the shade. Super okay siya for everyday makeup. Yeah. And mukha lang siyang, you know, that glow from within. You know what I mean? I love it. Ang ganda na ito. Ang ganda nito talaga. Kita niyo ba? Meron siyang sheen. To finish off the look, I'm just gonna use this matte lipstick from Katkin. So this is in the shade Rouge. This is what it looks like. So, what I'm gonna do is that blotted coverage lang. So, lalagay ko lang siya sa center or sa inner part of my lips. Kita. Then, I'm just gonna blend it using my fingertip lang. Blotted coverage lang since... Siyempre, online meeting na naman. We don't want that full application, right? Sa lip. So, yeah. Pa-fresh lang tayo dito, sis. And if you're not satisfied pa, you can add more dito sa inner part. So, this is the final Zoom Ready makeup look. Ayan. It's very simple and easy lang naman to follow. So, if you're interested with the products that I used in this video, the Catkin Cosmetics products, I'll link it all down below. Including this brush set na ginamit ko by Anthos. Ilalagay ko rin doon. So, yeah. This ends this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you like it, and subscribe and share this video. Bye!